A tempeh bacon recipe. Also, I showed you all the other seasonings, the other ways you could cook it. This is how it's done. It tastes amazing. It's sweet while also being savory, just like bacon. You don't have to go purchase pre-made tempeh bacon, and this is much healthier. Tempeh is amazing for you. What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cole Hastings. If you're trying to evolve your body and mind through a plant-based diet as well as personal development topics, then consider subscribing. So let's get right into making this piece of weird thing. Actually, it's just fermented soy into something amazing tasting. First, we're going to go over how to cut it. I'm gonna show you how I usually cut tempeh, but also I will show you one other way, and that is doing it as like beef crumbles, making it into crumbles. To make it crumbly, you can just cut it the short way into slices like this. this is how I'm going to cook it today, and then just chop it into small pieces until they are crumble size. Pretty self explanatory. But the way I really like to do it, and the way I'm going to do it in this video, is just cutting it the short side here into maybe a third of an inch slice, so it's going to look like this. I just find this is the best way to cook it. It's the usual way that pretty much everybody cuts it, and yeah, it's what I suggest. So let's get on to the seasoning. So I have my tempeh cut up here, and I wanna show you how to make this taste good without salt. So besides the maple syrup here, I use all of these seasonings to cook my tempeh and also my tofu. We have garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, liquid aminos, and paprika. Liquid aminos I use instead of soy sauce. Tastes exactly the same as soy sauce, but this one just has less sodium, and it's better for you. If you wanna use soy sauce, you can also use that. But I suggest this as a necessity to make it taste good. Good. The rest are actually optional. But today I'm making a tempeh bacon recipe and I want that to be a little sweet as well as crispy. So we are going to use the maple syrup here. Let me show you how I season this. So we're going to start off by adding a teaspoon of liquid aminos. I like to just drag the spoon across them and evenly distribute it. And since this is gonna be like bacon, we are going to add some cumin, some paprika. I recommend smoked paprika. So let's see how much a teaspoon of maple syrup is. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Now that we have seasoned them, let's get cooking. Let's show you how to cook them. So there's really only two ways that I recommend that you cook tempeh, and that is either on a pan on the stove or in a toaster oven or an oven baking it. If you're gonna bake it in an oven, I recommend around 425 degrees Fahrenheit for maybe 15, 20 minutes. But let's show you all the way I usually do it, which is in a pan, and I'm gonna use a little bit of oil. Let's check it out. So I've got my pan here. It's under medium heat. Medium to low heat is what you wanna do. And I'm going to be using olive oil to coat the pan, but I'm only going to be using a very tiny bit because I don't really like to use a ton of oil. Just a tiny bit, just so it gets enough tempeh. Gonna wait for the bottom to heat up and then spread the oil around. All right, now just spread it around like this. I've got my tempeh here. We're gonna put it in the oil. It's been cooking for a decently long time now. Now we wanna flip it. We want this to be crispy. All right, check it out. It's looking really good so far. We're gonna let the other side cook until it looks about like that. There we have it. A tempeh bacon recipe. Also, I showed you all the other seasonings, the other ways you could cook it. This is how it's done. It tastes amazing. It's sweet while also being savory, just like bacon. You don't have to go purchase pre-made tempeh bacon, and this is much healthier. Tempeh is amazing for you. Please be sure to share this video around and leave a like if you enjoyed it, if you learned something. And let me know in the comments how you guys cook your tempeh because I really want to get new ideas for my tempeh as well. I will see you all in the next video.